first paragraph is where you set the tone and the imagery for your story. Remember that the first paragraph is the first thing that the reader reads. It is not the first thing that the writer writes. The first paragraph needs to know what your story is about before it can be effective. You need to write the entire story before you can do a, first, a good first paragraph. Of course, as you're writing, you are going to have to start with a paragraph that for a long time you're going to call your first paragraph. But once you've written your story, you go back to the first paragraph and you ask yourself, what is this story about? And in your first paragraph, you say what the story is about. Not in so many words, but in imagery, in tone, in feeling. That this first paragraph that I'm going to read to you in a minute is an example of what I am trying to tell you right now. This is a story that I wrote some 25 years ago. After I had written the story, I was really dissatisfied with what was my first paragraph, so I did the process that I'm suggesting to you right now. I asked myself, what is this story about? And when I thought about it, well, the story was about memory. It was about remembering. It was about ancestral memory. It was about the link of generations. So I created a first paragraph which I think leads the reader into what the story is about. Don't worry if you're going to lose some of the readers. Not everybody is a reader for your story. But the people who are the readers for your stories, they should be enticed to read on. So here's my first paragraph, which is also the first paragraph that the reader will read, and therefore you don't need to know anything more than what I'm telling you right now. Some people don't remember. I could still hear my grandmother saying as I stood at the edge of the road looking down the driveway, but I could not remember what it was people did not remember, nor when it was she had said that about people. But I could feel the heat of that day when we planted the nut trees and the smell of the earth reaching up to us and my wanting to touch her, to have her put her arm around me. So that's my first paragraph. Obviously, I've introduced the concepts that are crucial to this story, concepts of remembering, concepts of uh, a grandmother two generations prior, the concept that some people remember and some people don't remember. Obviously, the story is, go is going to be about those two people, those who remember and those who don't remember. But what is it that they remember? What is it that they don't remember? How are you going to find this out? There's one way. You're going to have to read the story. You're going to have to get into the story. So that is um, a brief outline of what the first paragraph must do. I have to give you a word of caution. While I've encouraged you to use fiction techniques, you must not fictionalize your story. That is, make your story over into a fiction and add details that didn't happen. Rearrange the sequence because it is dramatically more effective if you do that. No. What I'm suggesting to you is that you use fiction techniques, but that you don't fictionalize your story. If you're interested in knowing more about the first paragraph, I have a blog post called The First Paragraph of Your Memoir Can Make or Break Your Story. It's available at TheMemoirNetwork.com uh, and uh, put in that title, the first paragraph of your memoir can make or break your story. I also have uh, much more about starting a memoir in my book, How to Start Your Memoir. It is available at the Memoir Network bookstore. Good luck with your writing and leave a comment below. If I can help, be in touch.